Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm here with Patrick Holbin, WCQ winner, and he is the winner of the first ARG Circuit Series in Fort Worth, Texas, and you plays what in this event in Columbus, Ohio? Top 8. So, what did you play? I played the Dragoon Reviews again. The best deck ever? Yeah, I think it's really good. Did you do any, like, major changes to your deck? Uh, it was just, it was, like, two cards off um, the deck I played in Dallas, and then... Uh, four cards off what I played last week in San Mateo, um, just because I took out the Blue Eyes engine. So, how was your matches this week? And you play anything besides dragons? Uh, a lot of dragons, some spell books. Uh, I just lost to Constellers in top eight. Um, yeah, he's on, yeah, he's made top four now. Yeah, he's he's a really good player. I hope he wins. This is my top. He definitely deserves it. All right, let's see the deck. Okay, uh, there's 15 monsters. This is the first event where I didn't play Red Eyes. Why was that? Uh, or Blue Eyes. What, because, like, before I had been playing Red Eyes, but it was just, like, an awful draw. Mm -hmm. And then, um, when, for San Mateo, I took out Red Eyes and then added the Blue Eyes engine of, you know, Whitestone and trade in and Blue Eyes. Yeah. But drawing Blue Eyes is really bad, so I just decided to cut them both entirely. Mm -hmm. um, so I played three Blaster, three Redox, and three Tempest. And three Ducks, two Phalanx, and one Missile Tank. It's 15 monsters. For the spells, I played three swords, um, cold spark, book, two cards of consonants, two terraforming, three dragon ravine, and three upstart. If nobody haven't noticed, most of his deck is all foreign. <laughs> uh, for the traps, I played three reckless greed. I played Return. I played Castle. How did Castle uh, work for you this weekend? Honestly, it, it wasn't very good. I probably wouldn't play it again. Everybody just kept saying it was good, so I just kind of took them at that word. And it, just, it wasn't. So it didn't good. really work for you? No, I didn't. I didn't like it very much. Um, but uh, I cut. One of the changes I made from Texas was I cut the second emptiness for it, with the idea being that uh, when they have a field, you know, uh, any trap would be better than emptiness, and then when I have a field, any trap does the same thing. Uh, I didn't want to play, like, two and one, because then it, it, it would be three cards that are, you know, bad in that scenario where they have a field. So I just wanted to do one and one, but I would probably just not play this and play something else instead. Uh -huh. um, I played Warning, Regeki Break, Impulsory, and Mirror Force. Um, this, was, this was the card I took out Red Eyes for. I couldn't decide what I wanted uh, to be the last card. I didn't really, there weren't any monsters I really wanted to play. I really just wanted to play like 39 cards. Um, so the idea behind Mirror Force would be that it would get me to my next card anyway. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, Mirror Force is actually really good all weekend. I Saved you a lot. Playing that, yeah. And that's it for the main deck. Right. I think they're 10 traps. Um, for the extra deck, there's two Drago sacks. One big eye, one atom, one M7. This is, uh, I think, the only change I made to the extra deck. I took out Gaia. I noticed that when I typed up to your deck list, I'm like, where's the guy at? Um, the idea behind this card is if you open Duck's Missile Tain and you don't have a dragon, there, there are really no plays without this card. Uh -huh. But with this card, you can end with this and Stardust. So, and, and like, that's pretty much auto wins until I add Ducks back to your hand the next turn anyway. Gotcha. And if you do have a dragon, then you just do the Atom combo. Which and the only time Gaia came up is after Atom. Uh -huh. And if I if I did like the Atom combo, then like I'm probably winning, and I never need a Gaia. I didn't really miss it either. Right. So that was fine. Uh, Scrap Dragon, Stardust, Colossal, Two Crimson Blader, Gator. Uh, this is this is probably the best card in the extra deck, honestly, just because like. Does that help you recycle? Uh. It adds ducks from your deck to your hand, and then you discard a dragon. So, like, if I have any trap, I'll just summon this first turn instead of a level eight, yeah. and then add ducks to my hand. And you, like, even if I have you'll, bait, you'll bait stuff out. Uh, yeah, well, it, it just gives me like a guaranteed follow up play the next turn. Uh -huh. And uh, like, even if I have ravine, it's not guaranteed to stay since like the top decks all run field spells. Uh -huh. And I played three Vadriana and one HTS, which. It's DD Warrior Lady, it's so that when you get maxied. And also to stop with Crimson Blader, right? Yeah, it's so when you get maxied, you just make it and then they get one extra draw and you stop Crimson Blader. 
honestly, this card isn't that good. Like, getting Crimson Blade right there sucks, but I found that when they get an extra draw, and I'm only making this when I don't have traps. Like, if I had traps, I would just set them and not make this. Yeah. So when I'm making this and I don't have traps, I'm already kind of far behind anyway, and then they get an extra draw, and I found I was losing most of the games that I summoned this. So I, I don't know if I continue playing it. I might just, like, take the Crimson Blade when that happens. Uh-huh. Uh, um, for the side deck, I played one DD Crow, uh, just for the mirror match, two Medion, also for the mirror match. Uh, it was also for Evil Swarm. Oh, beyond. Uh, three MS Key, two Ref Panel. Does that card help a lot? Yeah, this card's really good. Yeah, I mean, it's only good when you go first, but if you resolve each, you win the game. And then two Divine Wrath. This was mostly for uh, spell books. But I also decided against McCabe. Okay. Perfect. That's what we did. You didn't see it much? Uh, I, had it, I had it the game that I won, uh, but I was so far ahead that game anyway because I just had multiple recklessness, so right. I, don't think it, I don't think it mattered. Uh -huh. um, I said two Skill Drain. This pretty much like covers all the decks that I don't want to play against. Uh, I decided it against Comstellers. I decided against Evil Swarm. I you know, decided it against Heretics. Uh, it's just like one card you know, hit all the decks that I don't really want to play. Uh -huh. um, I cited one chain disappearance. This was the last card. Yeah, why? I saw this. I saw this when I typed your deck up and I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's for the mirror match. It's uh, The mirror is very, very hard to win. So what do you be hidden? Uh, just phalanx. Like, it, it's very, very hard to win with Dragoonities if you don't have phalanx in your deck. You don't have really enough dragons to like just keep summoning dragons every turn like a normal dragon deck would. Yeah. So, I mean, if you hit their phalanx, the game's pretty much over. And uh, also, since they only play two, uh, at least most people only play two, yeah. you get to look at their hand, too. So, like, that's that's a big thing. So, let me ask you this. Yep. How many times did you chain this appearance? Uh, I played two mirror matches, so I set it against both, and then I drew it against one, and then... Uh, I, I just I won the game. Yep, and it, it was like actually a game that I almost certainly would have lost. It was a game where he went first and opened double reckless greed. So I mean, without chain disappearance, I don't I don't think I would have won that game. Uh -huh. uh, and then the last two cards on the side deck were two Imperial Iron Wall. Uh, this card is really really bad. Ultra. Uh, well, this card is awful. Um, I was snake charmed. It is not good. Uh, the idea would be that you go summon Stardust against dragons and protect this, and then like you just win the game. So what would you, re you know, if, if you don't really like that card, what would you replace it with next time? Uh, I'm not sure what I'd replace it with. I'd, I'd have to think about it, but uh, like th that just never works out like that because I'd be like, oh, I have Ravine and Iron Wall, so I can make Stardust, and then they MST it. And if they don't MST it, they max it. Like something always goes wrong, and like I don't know. And then like when they get rid of that, all I have left is dragons. So it was just like really subpar the entire weekend. Like when I realized how bad it was, I just stopped siding it and pretty much used a 13 card side deck. Yep, that was the deck. All right, so you have. So are you going to the next event yep. for the circuit? It should be in Boston. All right, and I'll catch you guys later. Remember, play hard or go home. <laughs>